92% of people would rather trust a complete stranger over a company brand online. And that is because brands lie. Brands lie through their marketing. They lie about their employee proposition. They lie about their sales. They lie about the product that they deliver. Brands lie. And I think one of the things that most companies completely overlook is that people buy from people. We've known this for millions and millions of years. It's why our dads used to do business on the golf course, right? Like people buy from other people. But the problem is today is companies think that actually their customers, their employees, and all of those all of those people they're trying to reach value perfection over reality. That could not be further from the truth. The reason why brands like TripAdvisor exist and why there are peer reviews on platforms like Amazon is because of this reason. 92% of people would rather trust a complete stranger than the company brand. How many of us have scrolled through Amazon for, you know, the one or two negative reviews of the £4.99 light bulb we want to buy just to make sure that it's a legitimate purchase or it's a legitimate brand that we're buying from? And that's because we trust Steve down the road more than we trust Amazon to sell us something that's worthwhile buying. And this is the thing that most brands get wrong. They think that if they put out this perfect marketing strategy, they put out this perfect social media and they make themselves look like the ultimate, you know, polished, you know, piece of perfection, that people are going to want to buy from them or that people are going to want to work for them. And the reality is that people don't want to work with you when you look perfect. They actually think it's fake. And so one of the things that I do at Cloud is I work with founders and executives to help humanize their brands, to help attract employees, retain great talent, but also to attract new business. Because like I said, people buy from people. And it's very, very hard to attract those people and get them to buy if you're only relying on your company branding strategy. So I'm going to be talking to you today um, hopefully is beneficial about how you can leverage the employees personal brands within your organization to grow a company branding strategy. Now going back to 2020, I started building my personal brand a couple of years before that, but actually started my business in 2020. And I was really, really lucky that within about six weeks of launching Cloud, I was oversubscribed. I had my first couple of empl- um, first couple of clients and I was just about to start um, onboarding our first employee. And since then, we've never really had an issue with bringing on new business or new employees because our brand punches way above its weight. And that's not because the Cloud brand is so strong. It is, we spend a lot of time and effort and money I'm trying to make it really strong, but it's because the people within my team are so proactive at posting content. Like we are relentless on LinkedIn. I remember there was a time where my team were posting at least two or three times a week and we're getting back there now. And people used to come up to me and be like, oh wow, you have your team's growing so much. There's like 50 of you. And actually the reality was there was only like 10 of us, but because we were posting so much and people saw our you know, pink heads and now our blue heads in their feed. And if you're following me on LinkedIn, you know what I mean by that. If you don't follow me on LinkedIn, go and look at my LinkedIn page and you understand what I mean. But people were seeing us and going, wow, there's so many employees at Cloud. And it's not that there were so many employees at Cloud, it's that there were so many employees at Cloud posting content. I digress. One of the reasons I want to get to the point of all of this today is so that you can learn some of the tactics that I have built my personal brand and also built my business on and apply them to your own. And so I want to take you through the kind of fundamentals of why you should be using your employees' personal brands to build your company brand, how you can do that, and then ultimately what that execution looks like. So first and foremost, why should you be using your employees' personal brands to build your company brand? Well, I think first and foremost, your employees get 561% more reach than your company brand online, which is significantly more than the three effing likes that you're getting on your LinkedIn company posts right now. And I guarantee you those three posts are probably from your employees, right? They're not from new potential employees or new potential customers. They're literally from people that your marketing team has sent a link to the post to and said, please, can you like this content? That is not what marketing is. Marketing is about broadening your horizons, not an echo chamber, right? So 561% more reach is what your your people get versus your company brand. 
Content shared by personal brands within a company also get eight times more engagement than the company brand. Like again, people buy from people. No one cares about your company page. And particularly when you're looking at platforms like LinkedIn, which is where a lot of people do hiring and a lot of companies are building their employer brands. No one is following a company brand. Everyone follows people. Like LinkedIn specifically ranks members content above company updates and sponsored ads. And that is why you never see company content in your feed. You very rarely see sponsored ads because they want to keep it as pure as possible. And that's because they have a huge content problem. There's about, you know, 12 billion impressions made every single week in the, in the feed on LinkedIn by only about 3 million users which means there's a huge supply and demand problem. Everyone wants to look at content, no one's creating it, which is why they constantly are pushing out member content in the feed because they haven't got enough like ability to be able to get people to buy sponsorship from them yet. You think about Instagram, you think about TikTok, the reason why those platforms have been able to monetize, aka get you to pay to boost posts, etc., is because they have the eyeballs, they have the content creation. LinkedIn doesn't have the content creation yet, it just has people looking, okay? so. One of the reasons why I think it's really important that people are leveraging LinkedIn specifically, and this isn't about LinkedIn, right? There are multiple channels in which you can use your in pers uh, the personal brands within your organization to build on, but I'm talking about LinkedIn specifically in this example. The reason why LinkedIn have not monetized is because they don't have the eyeballs. They have a supply and demand problem, which means that you have a huge fucking opportunity to start creating content or better yet, get your team to post content to reach people that you otherwise just couldn't access. Marketing used to be all about talking at your audience, talking at your customer, but now it's about influencing them from within. It's why influencers exist, right? People trust people more than brands. Like, you know, <laughs> there are people on Instagram with millions of followers for no other reason other than they take nice pictures because people trust those pictures more than they trust those pictures coming from a brand. Why wouldn't you wanna capitalize on that trend? Why wouldn't you wanna capitalize on the people that are already on payroll within your business? to build your company brand. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, but Amelia, they're gonna start posting content. They're gonna get approached by headhunters and they're gonna get recruited to go somewhere else. Yeah, they might. But that says more about your leadership than it says about them posting content. Let me into a little secret. My team get peppered with in-mails from people. And sure, some of them have left, some of them have stayed. But the reality is, if someone can be poached purely through a message coming inbound to them off the back of them building their personal brand, that says more about the employee-employer relationship you have with that person than it does about them posting content. And also, the time that they're gonna be spending at your company, whether it's one year, two years, six months, whatever it might be, and they are proactively getting you that 561% more reach online, you're only gonna benefit from that. So I think it's really short-sighted to use the excuse of like, what if they leave to not encourage your team to build their personal brands? Because ultimately, if they're building their personal brands while they're with you, that's only gonna benefit your company reach. So it's really, really important that you do this. And the final kind of piece of all of this puzzle is, right, like the ultimate reason why I started building my personal brand and why I think every company should do it is because about 71% of employers um, struggle to hire talent, right? When was the last time you heard a executive or a founder be like, oh, we found this person, it was so easy. It doesn't happen. It's really, really hard to hire good people. Um, it's also really hard to do new business, right? Really, really difficult. And so when you start humanizing your brand, when you start humanizing the employees and the people and the leaders within your business, you make your brand a lot more attractive to prospective employees. You like make your brand also a lot more attractive to prospective prospective customers. We had a client once that won the biggest contract of the year off the back of their Christmas party post. And that is because that company that had seen that Christmas party post, the person, the executive of that company had seen the Christmas party post and gone, I wanna work with a business that treats their employees like that. And so that ended up being a conversation that then turned into a contract. I said it at the start, say it again, People buy from people, but more importantly, they buy from people they trust. And when you start building the personal brands of the people within your business, you start building trust at scale. And that is what separates you from everyone else. That's what separates you from your competition. It's what's separating you from the rest of your industry because while they're all over there, copying each other's websites, copying each other's, you know, social media channels and colors and all that shit, they all look the same, they sound the same, they act the same, and the only thing that you can compete on, therefore, is price. 
when you do something different, when you lean into the people that are already within your business, when you lean into the personalities in your business and the values and the, you know, the, the humanity of your business, you immediately set yourself apart. Companies spend millions and millions of dollars on ads, on marketing, on advertising. Do you know how much I spend? Zilch absolutely nothing. And I'm a 100% inbound business that has made millions of dollars off the back of my personal brand and off my team's personal brands that has enabled us all to grow. And that is because we recognize that when you are running a business in today's society, you have to put people at the center of it because no one cares about face slogans anymore. No one cares about the white paper that you're producing. They care about the people within your organization and what they had for lunch and whether or not Steve and Janet from finance ever got together. It's why vlogs do so well, right? So leverage the people within your business already and you will be converting seven times more frequently than any other channel. And you heard me right, right? Leads that come through personal brands can convert seven times more frequently. I'll never forget, we worked with this customer once who came to us and about 5% of his business came from inbound. So like people, you know, filling out forms on a, on a website or phoning in or whatever it might be. And within a year, we got that up to 30% inbound, which meant that his sales team didn't need to grow for them to make significantly more money because they had so much more business coming inbound into the business. I've got another client that we worked with and within 30 days of them starting to post content as an executive team, 